So here's something fun. I just got the Muppet movie on Laserdisc. Even though I don't have a Laserdisc player. Guess I gotta get one of those. In the meantime, I'll review the second episode of The Muppets. So, let's get things started. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Joshua Gillespie and welcome back to the Muppets 2015 vlogs. After a very good pilot, we are now on to our second episode, Hostile Makeover, with guest stars Josh Groban and Jay Leno. Now, the first episode was really good, but does that stay consistent throughout the series? Well, let's take a look at the story. This time around, we have three stories. The first one is, Miss Piggy doesn't have a date to an upcoming awards show, and she's a little bit upset. Pixels, highlighters, a back scratcher! If you're itchy, take care of it at home! So Kermit decides that in order to keep himself and the other Muppets alive, he sets her up with Josh Groban. The two begin dating, and Miss Piggy starts to change. Now, I, I'm not saying I had any influence on this, but I, I think it's kind of funny how uh, Miss Piggy's new boyfriend has the initials JG. And even though things seem good, Mr. Groban starts to take over just a little too much. Our audience needs a gentler, more tranquil vibe at night to help them sleep. Like a warm glass of milk. This is a television show. It is not a glass of milk. The second story is about Fozzie Bear being invited to a party at Jay Leno's house. He's so excited and so honored to be there. He needs a souvenir. The third story is about Bobo the Bear trying to sell cookies for his daughter's Girl Scout troop, but he's having a little bit of trouble due to competition. So what did I like about this episode? This is another really well done story. Josh Groban kind of taking over Miss Piggy's show, Fozzie <laughs> stealing stuff from Jay Leno, and Bobo just kind of popping in and being like, hey, you're going to buy these cookies, right? Not now, Bobo. Oh, no problem. I'll just take the battery out of your car and remind you to come see me. Yeah. Another thing is just this is Kermit the Frog. This episode is truly what Kermit the Frog's supposed to be. He's nice, but he's also mean. He freaks out. As we all know, a frazzled frog is a happy audience. We get to see him flail. We get to see Kermit flailing, and it's a full body shot. I don't know if we've ever gotten to see Kermit flailing with his legs. So that's awesome. And not just Kermit, but all of the Muppets get to be themselves. And they're just, they're the Muppets. People's Choice Awards are coming up, and she doesn't have a date. Oh, shocking. <laughs> she seems like such pleasant company. <laughs> Speaking of characters, there are two that... <sighs> I'm just so happy to finally get some well-deserved screen time. Uncle Deadly has a lot to do in the opening scene, and the trumpet player Lips actually talks. He speaks. That's awesome, because he's usually a rather silent character, so it's just awesome. And even though most viewers don't really get, don't see that significance, to a Muppet fan, I approve. And like I was saying, with the Muppets being themselves, they just get to be harsh. People seem to think the Muppets are supposed to be sweet and kind and cute. No, the Muppets are jerks. The legendary Gags comes pretty cheap, doesn't he? Well, uh, we worked out a good deal. Are you paying by the line? No, I pay him by the laugh. Oh, then he owes you money. <laughs> oh, that was cute. That was real cute. And that's why they're real. They're a family. They love each other, but they treat each other like family. And you really get to see that here. Also, Miss Piggy's freakout at the beginning of the episode is just 
outstanding. Who replaced my thick sharpies with fine tip sharpies? I'm signing autographs, not writing the Bible on a grain of rice. And lastly, the story about Gonzo's mom. Oh, I get those spam emails all the time. You know, from my mother who's stuck overseas, needs money. Just delete them. Uh, Gonzo, isn't your mother on a South American cruise? Yeah, and I'm a little worried. I haven't heard from her in a while. No, no. It's not really a side story, more of just like a running gag throughout, but Gonzo lately just hasn't been getting as much attention as he deserves. So for him to kind of have a part in the episode that keeps coming up, I really enjoy that, and Gonzo's my favorite Muppet, so it's awesome to see him getting more attention. Now, I do have a problem with the episode. It's just one, but I do have a problem. I want to see Miss Piggy karate chop someone. There's a scene towards the end where I was just sitting there going, she's going to do it, she's going to do it, she's building up, it's going to happen, and then there's just nothing. Maybe they're saving it for something special, and then... She'll get to be the piggy we all know and love, but, you know, that scene, I was just ready for it to happen, and it didn't, so. Oh, well. But, yeah, that's really my only problem with Hostile Makeover. Honestly, this episode is better than the first one. It's funnier. The stories are great. It, the characters all do something, even if it's just, like, one little line they still get to say something there's a lot of background characters like beautiful day monster seeing him <laughs> I don't know that he does something with his hand and his chest but who cares it's it's cool to see him maybe he'll talk at some point uh, he'll go up to someone and say well uh, you got anything cheaper <laughs> I don't know I just I'm so happy the Muppets are back on TV if you can't tell oh it's just this is something I never thought would happen, you know? You go back 10 years and s tell 10-year-old Joshua they're going to have a new Muppet show, and it's going to be amazing. He'd probably believe you and start freaking out, but, you know, it was, it's been so worth the wait. And just thank you again to everyone who has worked on this show. It's just something special to me, and it's something... It's like a dream come true, so thank you. As for episode two of The Muppets, you should definitely check it out. Thank you for watching. Listen, relax, relax. We talked about overreacting to things. It's a code red. Ah, code red! <laughs>